As usual Coco was the boss I was I was cleaning my floors halfway through and then he wouldn't stop barking so here we are we're out walking <laughs> yeah pretty warm today yeah hopefully it gets a little cooler we'll see but we're out walking at least. Right, Coco? Beautiful day down here today. It's quiet. The waves are gentle. The sunlight's dancing on top of the water. Gonna be a beautiful day. Okay, so we're gonna go home, finish the floors up, and then we'll have a salad for lunch. I just still gotta finish um, sweeping, and then we can mop the floors up. Yeah, and then we'll get in the kitchen getting our potatoes ready for the crock pot. One hand. That sounds like a plan, right? Yeah, that's the plan. Morning! What are you having? Chips? Chips and uh, I'm having a brunch. Chips and uh, chicken sandwich. <laughs> chicken sandwich? Turkey <laughs> tomorrow. Well, he's checking out his little house. <laughs> He hasn't went in yet. He's got a new things to him. He makes him nervous, so we'll see. <laughs> I put it on the table for him to get used to it. Yeah. I put a little bit of seed there too for him. Okay, guys. I had a, a pe little piece of onion. I cut that up in there, and I got bacon in there and some cheese in there. We're gonna have a nice salad for our lunch. I got all the floors done. <laughs> I didn't want to, I was like, oh, I'm hungry. But I'm like, Michelle, just get them all done. Then the floors are done. Then you can move on to something else. You know what I mean? So, oh, darn it. Stay in there. <laughs> Let's uh, get our salad and sit down and have some lunch. Okay, we have a Sprite Zero. Yes, in a beautiful salad. Uh, ooh, let's dig in. This looks so good. There I go, flinging things around. That's what Michelle does best. It wouldn't be great videos if Michelle didn't fling things around, right? <laughs> okay, so after this we're going to do our potatoes up for the um, for the uh, I was gonna say Instapot. I don't really care for potatoes done in the Instapot. I'm gonna try the slow cooker way. See if that is any better than the Instapot. And uh, then I took two steaks out. Bruce said, "Oh, take two steaks out." I said, "Well, we could share one." No, he says, "Take two out." So. We've got two steaks going to be going on the fire tonight.
I gotta get out there and clean our camp area up a bit. When when that hot weather came, we weren't sitting out there. And then the storm come in and blew a lot of things around. Let's go wipe things down. Wipe the porch down. Yeah. If I got if I get a lot of things done today, then I can relax tomorrow a bit. Next week is shut down for Bruce's work, but they force a few people to work. And then everybody's off for two weeks shutdown. If he was on the line, working the line, he'd be off. There's only a couple of advantages of working the line, and that's, that's one of them. Yeah. I said, well, just work. They have to give you those two weeks off sometime, so we'll take it in the fall. And we'll enjoy some, a week here and a week there. A week here and then a couple days here and there in the fall where it's cooler. There's no bees and flies biting you. He said, it'll be much better. Don't you worry. He said, you're right. You know that bugger did? Yesterday, when I went to a... Bring the groceries in. He come out and he's like, where's the fridge? I said, what? He said... I thought for sure you were going to go buy that fridge and you didn't, he said. I'm surprised. Oh, bugger. If it's on sale this week, I'm going to buy it. And you're coming with me. <laughs> Frankie drives me crazy some days. <laughs> I'm going to go finish my salad and then we'll get in the kitchen. I'm thinking s'mores for dessert tonight. What do you guys think? I'll be back. Sandra, you got three cookies over there in your bed. Go get one of them. You're not get. Oh, look how nice the floors look. <laughs> You're not getting another cookie. You got three over there. Look at. She's got three in her bed over there. I see two of them right there. You're not getting another cookie, Sandra. Okay, so I'm going to do one, two, three, four. I'll put these two potatoes together for five. So I've washed them really good. Now I'm going to stab them <coughs> really good with my knife. And then I have over here, do both sides, stab them. Stab them like you're mad. <laughs> Okay, all kinds of stabs. Over here, I've oh, <laughs> melted butter. Can you see that? I don't know. Can you, melted butter, and I put about six garlic cloves minced in there. I'm going to get online and see if I can find a minced garlic or... Goodness. What I'm going to do is... Take each potato. Hang on. Okay, so have five uh, tin foil wraps ready. What you're going to do is take your potato and you're going to roll it in that. Now, I was going to do these in the crock pot, slow cooker. Oh, forget about it. It's going to take 10 hours. So, I'm going to do, do these in my confectional oven. Roll it in that butter and garlic, and then wrap it up. Well, I bet you these potatoes are going to be delicious. 
I know they will be because I can smell the garlic. It smells wonderful. I'll probably put them in the oven for at least probably an hour, maybe 40 minutes. As long as they take till they're soft. Ooh, look at the, oh my, oh, look at the garlic on that one. Ooh. <laughs> I'm putting these two together. Oh, yeah. I love the smell of garlic. I'm sorry. I can't help it. I'm going to go get these in the oven after I finish these two. What I'm doing is opening them all up because i got extra here. So I'm going to dribble it all over all of them. A little bit all over all of them. And I think I'm going to put salt and pepper too. I forgot. I'm going to put salt and pepper too. So. Yeah. Make sure you put salt and pepper because potatoes definitely need salt. Ooh. How can you not love the smell of garlic and butter? Okay. Salt and pepper and then we'll get them in the oven. And we're going to get outside and clean up our area a bit. You guys, I just have tears in my eyes. I'm just, they're happy tears. As I cut my bacon, we're going to have bacon bits on our uh, potatoes. Um, the dogs have arrived in Windsor from Texas. 85 of them. And, um, I'm just happy to say that the adoption papers are flying out of the, uh, flying off the shelf. Okay. Now these dogs, somebody said, oh, it's from all the, the rain and the floods. No, they, sh they tell you these dogs have been overbred. They're overbred. It's crazy in Texas. The the dogs run in the streets. Okay? These dogs, 85 of them, are going to get a new home and a new life here in Canada. In, in, in Windsor. We just have to thank these people that are working hard and the donations and um, the people that paid for their flights, it's just amazing the outreach and uh, I'm happy to say 85 new dogs, 85 dogs running the streets are going to have new homes here. Isn't that amazing? Let's, let's give them, them, everybody involved with this, let's give them a big thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it brings me joy to know that these dogs won't have to run around the streets of Texas anymore. Yeah. Oh, I'm, so, I'm so happy. Come on, girls. It's street time. How's everyone doing? Nice beautiful day. Hey, how's my girls? Okay, I'm gonna go let Jethro and Nelly May out.
with a nice breeze, girls, today. Yes, it's a beautiful day. Where are you guys going? They always run over there. They must have a hiding spot. I don't know. They love to sit under there, under the trees. <laughs> Ginger, she just goes wherever she wants. Right, Jin Jin? There's Ellie Mae and Jethro. Ellie Mae's molten, in case anybody's wondering. She's molting her feathers to get her winter feathers in. Yeah, she loves to dig for worms. Jethro's too busy watching me. Nellie Mae loves to look for worms. It's her favorite treat. Hey, Ellie Mae? It's your favorite treat. Yeah. You get a worm? Getting any over there? I think we have a cardinal there. Hiding in the bushes. Oh, it must have took off. It's time to fill up the water and the food for all our feathered friends. All filled. I have not seen Chester for a few days. I hope he's okay. Yeah, I hear the Blue Jays, they're telling everybody the peanuts are out. I'm gonna fill up their water now. Okay, feathered friends, everything's there for you. I can hear the Blue Jays calling each other. They'll be here soon. They're saying, Michelle put peanuts out. Michelle put peanuts out. <laughs> yeah. You're scaring my birds away. <laughs> you hear them? Michelle. Michelle. Huh? What is it? Nothing. Smell it. Smells good. I know they smell beautiful. Don't smell it up close. No. I picked it for you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I picked it for you. Smell it. Thanks, flower. Stink. Oh, it smells like perfume. Beautiful. Natural perfume. That's beautiful. They're all blooming. The hummingbirds love them. Okay guys, I got the mushrooms done, the potatoes, they just have to be go on the fire and get heated up. Yeah, and then we're going to peel this corn. Oh, my eyes are driving me crazy. Oh, I put my drops in. But I'm having a little treat. A rosebud. I bought Nate these a long time ago. And they've been sitting in the fridge. So I'm going to have a little treat, take a little break. And then we'll get peeling the corn. Bruce is going to start the fire. I wanted to show you the dogs getting off the plane, We're arriving in Canada. Canada. It's their new home. <laughs> Why do these birds do this to me? Now I gotta go make sugar water. Because I see the poor little hummingbird that I don't want to drink old water. Well, she needs intervention. <laughs> She's abusive. Abusive towards hummingbirds. You heard her. There's Show no them the corn the... when you open it. Why? It looks, like... looks like corn.
at those morsels. The steaks are on. Yum, yum, yum. Jack Daniels sauce going on. Smelling good. Smells good, hun. Okay, you guys. Sunday dinner. Campfire steak. Uh, roasted potatoes. Corn on the cob. Let's eat, you guys. Let's eat. Honey, come on. Your, your truck will be there, but your dinner won't. No, I with Sandy got... with Sandy and Coco here. I got the wheel on. <laughs> so. The steak's delicious. It's delicious. Mmm. Mm. Well, at least I found up. the problem with my truck, anyways. Mm -hmm. Too bad you didn't have the shutdown to work on it. Ah! Don't you start. Well, we're going to go to uh, enjoy our delicious Sunday dinner at the lake here. And uh, you got that pole's in the way, honey. There we go. Come on over here so she can say goodnight. <laughs> good night, everybody. Hope you had a good Sunday. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you guys in the next Later. video. Love you. <laughs>